Congratulations to American Idol finalist Leah Marlene. Probably not something you expected to hear from me on this channel. After all, we don't usually talk TV. But since this talented new singing sensation comes from my own town, I just had to join in the excitement. Let's get into some Idol talk next on Track by Track. Hey everybody, my name's Kyle and this is Track by Track, music reviews, news, and commentary. Thanks for tuning in today, and if this is your first time here, please take a second to click subscribe so that you won't miss future reviews and more. Over the years, I've covered a lot of kinds of music and music-related topics on this channel, but so far, music competitions on TV has not been one of them. Here in America, both The Voice and American Idol have been popular contests for a number of years, with Idol, in fact, celebrating its 20th anniversary in 2022. Both of those programs have international versions airing in different countries around the world. And while X Factor only ran for a handful of seasons in the U.S., it lasted 17 seasons in the U.K., coming to an end there just last year. And of course, there's the Eurovision Song Contest, which is perhaps the biggest musical competition of them all, now in its seventh decade. Broadly speaking, all of these programs would be considered part of the reality TV genre. That's a distinction I personally find a little distasteful. For the most part, I despise reality TV. I have no interest in watching so-called reality shows about dating or weight loss or practical jokes or the secret lives of religion or cult members or anything having to do with a Kardashian. None of that holds any appeal for me. But I'm not opposed to reality TV competitions where there's talent involved. That's especially the case when it comes to music, which is clearly one of my passions. I'll admit, I've watched American Idol since almost the very beginning. During that time, I've seen an enormous amount of extremely talented singers take part in the competition. When they started allowing singers to play their own instruments, I felt like it added an increased level of credibility to the competition. And later, when contestants were allowed to perform their own original songs, it got even better. Which brings us to Leah Marlene on American Idol Season 20. I've been rooting for her on the show since her audition aired early in the season. I was immediately impressed by this energetic young singer-songwriter with solid guitar chops, great stage presence, and tons of charisma. But I wasn't just cheering for her because she was crazy talented. She's also from my town. Now, if you live someplace like New York or LA or Nashville, of course, you're probably used to seeing people from your town on shows like this. But see, here's where I live. The Twin Cities of Bloomington Normal, halfway between Chicago and St. Louis in the state of Illinois. We're not a big city, but we're far from a small town, too. I mean, we have two universities, an auto plant making electric vehicles, and the corporate headquarters for two major American insurance companies. Oh, and uh, beer nuts come from here, too. But we're not really known as a place many famous people once called home. Some celebs spent some time at our universities back in the day, but I feel like it's a stretch to, you know, call them our own. But this truly is home for Leah Marlene. If you've seen the show, you may have heard her say she's from Normal. So am I. Yes, we've heard all the jokes. Leah graduated from Normal West High School about two years ago. I graduated from Normal's East Side High School a bit longer ago than that. Leah cut her chops playing musical venues and events all over town, all of which I'm very familiar with. These days I technically live in Bloomington, but the boundaries between the two cities are so ambiguous that it's no wonder everyone just refers to it all as Blono. So naturally, there's a lot of hometown pride for Leah Marlene. I mean, I'd be rooting for her success based on that alone. But as a music fan, it's also validating to see that she's got the talent to back it up. She's earned it. And I'd like to think everybody around here feels the same way. My community has supported Leah throughout her idol journey, but even I was blown away by the massive crowd that came out for her hometown visit when she made the finals. An estimated 10,000 people packed the streets of Uptown Normal for her parade and mini-concert. It was really pretty incredible. Hopefully, if you saw the finale and saw the footage from that visit, you got a sense of what that turnout was like. And by the way, the local radio station you saw her visit? I spent seven years of my career there. Cool to see the place and my friends there on national TV. Speaking of TV, it was also really interesting to see in person how strongly that element impacted Leah's visit here. Thousands of people showed up to see a concert, but what they actually saw was the making of a television show. 
Unlike a traditional concert, Leah's performance was interrupted multiple times between songs by the TV crew needing to make adjustments to the staging or the lighting. As great as it was to see her play, the interruptions were definitely a bit of a buzzkill. Not at all her fault, and she did her best to keep the huge crowd engaged even during those pauses, none of which you saw on TV. But that's the reality of reality TV that we got to see. Yes, American Idol came to town to celebrate Leah Marlene's success, but more than that, they came to make a TV show. So if you've been following along with American Idol this season, hopefully you've enjoyed Marlene's performances as much as her hometown fans have. If you haven't seen her yet, you can check out all of her performances on YouTube. She's played a few originals, but she's also done a great job with cover songs as well. In particular, I'd suggest checking out her version of Bob Dylan's Make You Feel My Love, her heartbreaking performance of When She Loved Me from Toy Story, and a surprisingly effective version of Journey's Separate Ways. While her original songs tend to highlight her singer-songwriter talents, those performances were perhaps an even better showcase of her considerable vocal talent. So congratulations to Normal's own American Idol, Leah Marlene. It's been a thrill to watch her journey and super cool to see how much she's appreciated the support of her hometown, both in the past and now that she's on the verge of becoming a star. And in addition to that, I have to say, it's been really moving to see the way my community came together to support her all along. It's been cool to be part of that, and I can't wait to see what happens next. But now I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Did you watch Idol this season? What did you think about Leah Marlene? Who were your favorites? Was there anyone you thought should have made it to the finals but didn't? And what do you think about singing shows on TV? Do you enjoy them, or does this kind of reality TV still feel a bit too manufactured to you? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Once again, my name is Kyle, and this has been Track by Track. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, plus check out some of these other videos below that I think you might also enjoy. And of course, be sure to click subscribe, because true music fans always want new releases the day they come out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.